What's up guys, got another guitar review for you today. This is the Taylor GS Mini. It's probably been reviewed ad nauseum at this point, but uh, I did pick one up for myself, used, and uh, I'd highly suggest you do the same. It's a fantastic travel guitar. It's pretty much the B end, uh, or the end all be all travel guitar, I should say. Um, and this one happens to be the Rosewood Back and Sides version. I had to actually double check with Taylor with the serial number because it was looking like a different type of wood. I mean, Rosewood usually looks a lot darker than this, and I think it's because of the fact that this is really just a, a, a thin veneer that's going over top of the sapili that's underneath it, which is pretty thick. And you can even see, if you take a look at the sides here, exactly where the lamination's happening. And there's a layer in between of some sort of tone wood and then you have the outer layer, which is pretty thin, and in a thin layer of sapelia on the underside as well. You can see that through it. Uh, this is one of the newer models. I believe it's a 2014 or 2015 model. It has the uh, expression system, electronics, which is fantastic. It's just really easy to use. I was never a fan of that ESGO plug-in pickup. I can't stand a nasally uh, neck sounds on a guitar to begin with. I'm all about the piezo. It's got a compensated bridge. Uh, one thing I did mod was I put in, instead of the uh, black plastic plant pins that come with it, which are kind of look like lollipops, you know, just kind of circles or orbs rather, spheres on top, I got the more ornate um, uh, abalone dot inlaid uh, peg, pegs uh, for this. So in this case, uh, it looks a little bit nicer. A little more presentable, I think. Uh, this is an ebony bridge, an ebony fingerboard, and a tropical mahogany neck with Taylor mini tuners. And then on the headstock here, I have been trying out some different experiments. This one didn't exactly fit. It's supposed to be a rosewood uh, piece uh, there for the truss rod cover, but I need to get one that fits a little bit better. I'm trying to match this to kind of make it a little, a little more presentable. I wish they would have just gone without the, uh, the plastic kind of looking. Uh, Taylor logo on the, on the headstock here. It's the only thing I don't really like about these. It does come with a uh, strap button on this side and of course the uh, ES uh, system strap button slash input jack or output jack, whichever way you look at it. So let's uh, hear some tones here. One thing I'll say is that for such a small instrument um, it's got great size this way um, which a lot of the smaller guitars don't have like a Martin Backpacker or the, the Mini DRs, whatever they're called, um, uh, the X series ones or even the, uh, the baby tailors uh, are really thin on this kind of end of things and it, it just sounds like a brittle kind of uh, splashy tone for lack of a better term. It also features a, a actual um, size sound hole in here too so I feel like you get a lot of projection out of this and I've competed it against my Taylor 310 and it's just as loud acoustically. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty impressive feat for such a little guy. The neck doesn't feel too small. It's easier to play, I'll give you that. And tuning uh, is a little bit more um, fine because the strings are so uh, slack in here. You know, it's a little bit uh, you know shorter tension, so you have less uh, tuning you know to to worry about. However, it's really hard to get it perfectly in, and that that's the only qualm I have with this. So check this out. <laughs> So as you can see, it's got really good playability. Uh, the action is fantastic. I remember I got this used, but uh, wow, action's perfect on this. So I'm perfectly at home doing you know a little sublime type stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
playing leads on this, but uh, not maybe quite as punchy or bright as a real dreadnought size, but still really, really loud, I gotta say. Also the capo. Um, I tend to use one of these because I think with such a small guitar, sometimes those bigger capos have so much tension pre-built into the spring that it's a little too much and it can kind of flat out the uh, notes somewhat. Uh, so in this case, I, I use one of these uh, simple Planet Waves, you know, uh, thumb screw ones, and it really lends for a more accurate tone from what I can what I can uh, tell at any rate. Um, so uh, let's see here. Finger pick tone uh, is really nice. Um, just real simple stuff, you know. I actually kind of prefer the tone of this uh, finger pick because it cuts out that there is a little bright top end that you get when you're playing the. does reveal its size somewhat. I think it's got a little kind of shrill metallic-y sound uh, on the top end. People have said that they like the mahogany tops the best. Uh, I, I definitely still like the brightness of the, um, of the spruce, but I could see you know, why the mahogany would be a nice way to go as well. They seem to be a very popular uh, uh, model of the GS Mini. Uh, so check out all the different woods, see which one you like the best. Um, this one just happened to be the best deal with electronics for me, so uh, it was a no-brainer for me to get it. I also used this traveling. I took it, uh, you know, kayaking with me, not on the river, but at the campsite, and it was a real, you know, treat for everyone to be able to play and just kind of sit around the campfire. It's a guitar that you can feel comfortable doing that with, with the laminated back and sides. Uh, they're not really going to warp that easily. You still got to care for it, and not leave it out in the sun like a, like an idiot. But at the same time, uh, it's a real travel-friendly guitar. It can fit in an oversized uh, overhead bin of an airplane uh, very easily. And uh, this, in fact, is the. Uh, little gig bag it comes with. It's very plush, it's very nice. Uh, the straps on this, you know, they're not anything crazy. They got a little webbing on the back side for like sweat ventilation, but nothing too padded there. However, on the inside of this, it reveals that it has my favorite thing a gig bag should always have, is it's this neck joint area. Um, it, it allows it so that if this thing would ever kind of experience any strain on the neck end of things, it wouldn't just snap, it's got something to press against. And it's a really solid piece of foam that you can actually uh, remove with Velcro. So this piece comes out, and uh, I don't know why anyone would take it out though. I mean, it's no uh, harm on the guitar whatsoever. It just helps to really add that. And it's got a nice big uh, place here for your stuff. I fit cables, a microphone, and an iPad in here, no problem. So this guitar overall, coming with a really premium gig bag like that, it's a fantastic buy. I will admit that um, I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. You're again paying for the Taylor name and also the craftsmanship, but I will say this, you're getting an all wood, real guitar, aside from the laminated back and sides, which still are real wood. Um, nothing's fake about this, they don't go the Martin route of putting micarta or Bolteron on the neck. It's just true ebony and ebony fingerboard. So everything you see here is really, you know, what a high-end tailor would have on it as well. Maybe just a little bit nicer cut. 
especially when it comes to the neck. The neck's nothing you know too fancy with the mahogany green, although it still looks beautiful to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great guitar for someone who is uh, a little bit smaller handed, or someone like myself. I have you know over you know 12, 13 guitars, but I love keeping this in my living room just to grab and play real quick. It's just uh, easy grab. Super simple to use um, and, and keep uh, in a safe spot. But uh, maybe something you won't mind a kid knocking over, for example. <laughs> uh, but also for, for, for girls, you know, too, uh, starting out, who often have smaller hands than boys do, typically, um, it's a great guitar for them to start out and give them great confidence, and small boys as well, because a lot of times what turns a guitar player away from the from the art of guitar playing. It's the fact that it hurts, right? And it, uh, it's uncomfortable. This guitar is super, super comfortable to play and because of the short scale length here. It makes it so much easier to press down on the strings. It's the perfect starter guitar, really. Now, do I think, you know, $599 is an excessive price? $600 bucks for, for this little guy when you can buy a nice, big, full-size dreadnought for that? And uh, especially an import, you can get a lot of guitar for that. I think it's a little too overpriced. I mean, I personally think the big baby Taylor should be around two ninety nine, and I think these with electronics should be at you know four hundred bucks, three ninety nine, uh, and maybe without electronics, you know, three fifty. I think that'd be a fair price. But again, you know, Taylor, they're trying to make the most out of it. And they know people will buy it. So I ended up getting this for three seventy five used. And uh, if you can find them used, which they're all over the place. Uh, definitely check it out before and make sure the fit and finish is good. But the one thing about buying a Taylor used is that because of their bolt-on neck design, uh, they really stay nice in their action from hand to hand. So uh, if you're getting it from somebody else, you can usually count on the fact that it's going to be a pretty good playing guitar, uh, if not an amazing <laughs> playing guitar. So uh, yeah, you owe it to yourself, check one out, and uh, it's really the end-all be-all travel guitar if you ask me. Uh, it's toneful, can hang with the big boys, and uh, they also came out with a GS Mini bass, which is super rad, and I love playing that thing. I can't wait. It would be kind of cool to have like a GS Mini concert, you know, of the GS Mini bass and two of these guitars going at it, maybe the mahogany top versus a spruce, just to give a little, you know, articulation and variation there. be pretty cool. Anyways, uh, leave it in the comments if you like the video. Thank you.